You know that one where you suddenly find yourself in a situation you didn't, you don't expect it. You have, you just boom, in this situation. You have to do something, or you have to react. So I had, uh, I used to work in a place close to Rai. So the Rai was the metro that I got into when I was going home. So one evening, after work, a bit late, not super late, you know, six thirty-ish. I go to the metro, metro comes along, I step inside, and the first thing I notice is reasonably full, it's not super full, but as I step inside, I see, it's just too weird, I see two guys, and they have, um, they're struggling with another guy, and they have, the camera strap is around his neck, and they are pulling this, and it's very surreal, you just stood right in front of me. Then, um, there's a lady, so I, I'm in there, the doors close and it begins to move and the lady, she says, do something, do something. And I, what? And the first thing that happens to me is my head, there's a part of me that says, I really don't want this. I don't, why, what, how, you're just there. And I also notice that the metro compartment is full. All the, everybody, there are people sitting there. They're in all of the seats, people are sitting down. And then there are these guys and they're struggling and they're really angry. And I don't really know how this happened, but it was possible to begin a conversation, sort of to kind of get them to calm down. And what had happened is that the guy who had the camera and the strap around his neck, he was a photographer. He had taken a picture of the, the, those guys and their family and then sitting along one side you had uh, two their wives and a, some kids and these were uh, it was a Muslim family and I I don't know what but they you could see they had the head scarves and the men had the long um, robes and the photographer had taken a picture of them and they had said take you can't do that and he said well it's my I have the right to take a picture. And that is what had led to this scuffle. And it was, I mean, they were furious. They said he had to, you know, so they were trying to get his camera. And of course, he's got this, it was like a, I don't know, M something, a, a digital one. And they're struggling and eventually it reached a point, I, don't ask me how, that he agreed to get rid of the photo. It's possible he didn't do it because I know those cameras had two uh, slots, so some people, you know, shift the, the, sort of take double pictures or whatever. But he, at least in front of their eyes, erased the photos of the family. And um, he got out at the next stop. And prior to the next stop, the metro had actually come to a halt. And I noticed in, in your, it's a very weird thing. You sort of seem to notice a lot of things at once. I noticed the driver had come out of the door and he was looking through the door at what was going on. And of course, the people. So anyway, the photographer gets off at the next stop. The, uh, the other guys, um, they go back and sit down. The lady who had said, do something, was saying, talking, I don't know what she was saying, I couldn't hit, remember, I couldn't, it just didn't register. Then the stop after is where I had to get off to get onto another metro, and I got off, and as soon as I got off, I was a shaking, really, and I started crying. And I, I wasn't sure what it was. I, I, I mean, I wasn't hurt or anything. And I am convinced, um, there was a sort of anger, and the anger was towards everybody else in the in the metro compartment who did nothing. They just looked away. They see this happen. Nothing. There were so many of them. They could have easily overpowered these two guys, you know, and, and calmed things down. But they just did nothing. And again, I I mean, at the time, I was just angry, and I thought, so if something happened to me, people just did nothing. Nobody would save me. And I think that was a bit of a scary thought. And of course now, uh, it's quite a few years ago, and of course I don't, it's very easy to point fingers and say you should do this and you should do that. And I've said before that 
we're very funny creatures and we never know what we're going to do. It's very easy to say, oh, I'll do this, I'll do that. But when it happens, you have no idea what you're going to do. And so I just felt sad that um, there is something because I'm quite sure, I'm almost 100%, I know it's a bit of a risk to say 100% certain, but in Nigeria, every time I've seen a scuffle, within seconds, people just appear out of nowhere and try and you know, calm that thing down and say, no, this is not the way to solve problems. There's a better way. Anyway, that's, uh, sorry for getting a bit preachy, but it, uh, I noticed that things like that do leave a bit of a mark. I hope everybody, uh, the photographer and the people involved, just kind of chilled eventually and you know, wrote it off as one of those odd experiences. For me, yeah, it's a memory. That, uh, that's why I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, that one.